Nearly a week after the primary election, the race for Cook County State's attorney is still too close to call. Here is where the count stands right now. Eileen O'Neill Burke holds a narrow lead over Clayton Harris, just about 1,900 votes. That gap shrunk over the weekend after the Chicago Board of Elections added about 10,000 votes to the ballot count. Admitting a mistake, CBS 2's Andrew Ramos is live outside Board of Elections headquarters where counting still underway, Andrew. That's right, Jim and Marie were told it was about 2,500 mail-in ballots that were counted today. That's on top of the 23,000 ballots that were counted over the weekend. Now, the big news that really took many people off guard, including both campaigns, were the additional 10,000 ballots that were added to the count, which has certainly made this race a whole lot more interesting. According to Chicago Board of Elections Director of Public Information Max Bever, the apparent human error was of his own making when he mistakenly left out some vote-by-mail ballots in his initial count. Issuing an apology over the weekend, he assures that these ballots were under lock and key and had been part of a trove of mail-in ballots received ahead of Election Day. After acknowledging the flub, ballot counting and ballot signature verification moved forward with poll watchers for both campaigns on site. The big question now, how many ballots are left to count? As per state law, all late arriving but properly postmarked ballots must be counted. The deadline for that, April 2nd. Officials say the exact number of those ballots is unclear. Many do trickle in from our military and our overseas voters, but we also do have provisional ballots. And we do have nursing home ballots too. Uh, ultimately, that will be under the watch of uh, campaigns and the attorneys. Now, we have spoke to both campaigns. Both say they're going to continue to monitor this counting process and will remain on the ground as this whole process gets underway. That's for the latest for uh, now, live in the loop. Andrew Ramos, CBS 2 News. Thanks, Andrew.